The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. How to use return tracks. In Ableton Live, return tracks are very handy little audio channels that sit at the bottom of your session and let you send multiple channels to the same effect. Let's take a listen to my remix of Mike Taylor's Body High and we're gonna add some return tracks to help finalize a few elements of the mix and then glue all of it together. The first thing that we're gonna do is create some return tracks. I'm just gonna right click here and say insert return track a couple times and I'm gonna create about five. On return A, I'm gonna do a little parallel compression just for the vocals. So that means I'm gonna highlight these with the shift and send them at full volume. Boom. And on return A, I'm gonna put a 1176. I'm gonna grab, actually let's do the CLA 76 from Waves. I'm gonna grab the stereo one because we're sending stereo audio channels to it. And I like to use this plugin in a very aggressive and disrespectful fashion. So we're just gonna hit that straight up to full volume and to control the peaks, I'm gonna finish it off with an L2. And it's gonna be a little bit loud, so I'm just gonna bring this back down about minus 10. Let's take a listen to our vocal. I don't wanna come back down. And let's listen to it without the parallel compression. I don't wanna come back down. And back on. The gravity will keep me on the crown. You pick my heart up from the lost and found. And back off. Dark days turned around. Just lose yourself. The next plugin that I'm gonna send all the vocals to is gonna be a little bit of quarter note delay. And for that, I'm gonna use the H delay from Waves, H Delay Stereo is good for this. Let's grab all these and again, send it at full volume. And I think a quarter note is gonna be appropriate for this song and some ping pongs. Definitely a little bit of modulation and a whole lot of filtering. Let's see how this sounds. I don't wanna come back down. The gravity will keep me on the ground. You pick my heart up from the lost and found. Let's drop a little flanger on here too. I don't wanna come back down. The gravity will keep me. I also think it's competing a little bit with the vocals, and this is where using a return track to do your delays becomes way handier than just doing it on the channel and grouping it like you've seen me do in my other tutorials. So now that we have a compressor on here, let's just rename this channel lead so we can find it easier. And let's tell it to compress our delays to our lead channel. I don't wanna come back down. The gravity will keep me on the ground. You pick my heart up from the lost and found. Dark days you turned around. Just lose yourself. That way none of our background vocals are ducking our delays, just the leads. And the next thing I want to do to these delays is just give them a little bit more dirt. And I think I'm just going to hit them with the redux. Do a little soft down sample. I don't want to come back down. The gravity will keep me on the crown. Just to be tidy, we can call these quarter notes. And we'll call this... Uh, Vocals. Are your vocals sounding a bit weak sauce? Have you wasted countless nights only to be disappointed by your bland vocal mix? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Lead Vocal Sauce, the powerful blend of Ableton effects that will have your raw vocals sounding so saucy you might just never use another plug-in chain again. Lead Vocal Sauce is available now only at wholeloops.com. Let's continue on, stylize these vocals just a little bit more with some slap delay. I'm actually just gonna grab this whole chain from here 
So it's pretty close to what I'm trying to do. Might just get rid of the flanger, turn up the down sampling, and speed up these delays. I don't want to come back down. Let's try a little bit of that. Gravity will keep me on the ground. You pick my heart up from the lost and found. Dark days you turned around. I don't want to come back down. The gravity will keep me on the ground. You pick my heart up from the lost and found. Dark days you turned around. Just lose yourself. All night, all night, all night with me Just lose yourself It's alright, alright, alright Get free This wave is rushing my brain Erasing my So we've renamed this aux slap Now the next few auxes I'm going to use to glue together the rest of the music in the song so I'm just going to hit Command A to highlight all these groups and channels and let's send them to our fourth aux. And this is going to be our entire mix getting compressed. And I'm actually going to take the sub out because I don't like including the sub in the mix compression. It kind of prevents it from being bright and clear. And for our mix compression, I'm going to use the distressor from UAD. So we got all of our channels getting sent to it. I'm just going to crank the input gain pull back the headroom, and also pull back the output. Maybe turn up the ratio a little bit. It's slightly more aggressive on the attack and release too. Let's check out our mix through the distressor. The final return track is going to be some drum compression. And for that, I'm going to use the DBX 160 from UAD. And we got all of our drums getting sent to our fifth bus. I'm just going to turn the compression way up, turn the output gain up. Now some of you may be wondering, Reed, why wouldn't you just use the in-channel parallel grouped audio effect rack to do things like your delays and your slap and your parallel compression? You know, what is the difference? And the one and only main difference between using return tracks versus using the in-channel grouped rack is when you go to bounce stems, uh, your effects will be printed here in the channel versus having individual stems for your effects. So if you're going to do your own job mixing it, and then you're going to send your track off to somebody else to mix it, and you'd like to give them the option of using your parallel processing or not. This gives it to you as separate stems automatically when you go to print it. Well, there you have it. I hope that helps you understand how and when to use return tracks in Ableton Live. And these techniques aren't just for Ableton users, just about any music software has the equivalent. They may be called aux tracks or sends, but they effectively do the exact same thing. So thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.